Hey, greetings, everybody. Pastor David G. Grogan, Sr. I'm the senior pastor at Sojourner Life Ministries in San Antonio, Texas, and I am the voice of Phoenix Javelin. Um, this afternoon, we're going to hit a, 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 a topic or, or uh, that's been, it's out there. It's out there big time. It's not going anywhere. I don't think it's going anywhere anytime soon. But before we get there, I ask that you subscribe to my my uh, videos, Pastor David G. Grogan, Sr. Uh, when you see the bell, ding, ring the bell, you'll be notified when my videos come out. When you see them, give me a thumbs up, give me a thumbs down. Let me know what you feel um, about the videos and please leave your comments because if I uh, can answer them, I'm going to answer them, but, but know this for sure. I'm reading all the comments that I get. You know, I want to say this before I go any further. I noticed that the, um, that the, sub, that my subscription or subscribers stopped at 410 Oh man, probably about a week ago, and they haven't gone anywhere. I don't know if people are not subscribing, or it just could be the fact that I'm being censored. You know, being, being, um, um, being, well, being censored. You know, the cancel culture is real big nowadays. They don't want the true word to get out. They want all the, the junk to get out. They want. They allow all the junk to get out. All the lies and deceit that Satan has. He, they'll let that get out. But when it comes down to the to the true word and to those things that are good for uh for for us, good for our children. They they're gonna censor that. So as it, um, you know, as a subscribers, it stopped at four ten, hadn't gone anywhere. Kind of unusual, but you know, you think you get about one every two days or something like that. But maybe, like I said, stuff that I'm doing is not appealing to some people. Uh, but that's all right. I'm gonna keep on doing what I'm gonna be doing, what I'm doing because God hath called me, at not just a pastor over His people in the the local church, but He has put this on my heart to get as much out as I possibly can about what I see going on in society. You know, one thing about YouTube is, it, it, as it remains for right now, it's it, it tends to be, it seems to be a good place where we can go and, you know, and talk about the issues. Um, uh, we know that censorship is real. Cancel culture is real. It's not going anywhere, but that's all right. I'm not afraid of it. You know, the one thing about this, they cannot cancel God. Uh, those that are in charge of YouTube, in charge of, you know, uh, Instagram, Twitter, you know, Facebook, all these different social media platforms, you can cancel everything. You can cancel me. You can cancel people, but you cannot cancel God. And I'm telling you something. Uh, you have to be very careful about how you deal with God's people because you're going to give an account for that. Whether you believe in him or not, You it will come to that day where you will give an account. So with that said, you know, um, like I said, if I can answer the comments, I will answer the comments. We're going to press on. We're going to press on. Let me get my visual accumulators right here. I like this article. Um, this is out of the uh, out of the Daily Wire. Um, uh, uh, Vernon Jones blasts critical race theory. It's racism that does not make any sense, and that's exactly right. The critical race theory is racism that doesn't make any sense. It, it's it's you know, but this is the thing: the things that Satan does, they don't make any sense. You know, uh, lies and deceit, y'all, and hatred, they all have an agenda. And that is to twist and to move people into in the direction that they want them to go. They're all lies and deceit that are, are self-gratifying. I mean, they're, they're, you do that so that you can get things your way. The truth has no agenda. The truth just is. It's like, like God. God just is. Jesus the Christ is. The Holy Spirit is. The word of God is, it, it, whether you believe it or not, and, and that is the truth. And that's the truth uh, for those that will come to an understanding that makes us free. John 8 and 32 speaks of that. Jesus Christ himself, himself said it. So, so Vernon Jones, once again, blasts uh, critical race theory. It's racism that does not make any sense. There's a scripture out of um, Proverbs, the 14th chapter, verse number 12. The scripture says, there's a way that seemeth right to a man. But the ends there are, are the ways of death, destruction. So you can do whatever you want to do, thinking that you, and, and trying to make it seem like you're doing right, that you know what you're doing. These psychiatrists, sociologists, politicians, professors, PhDs, all this kind of stuff, doctorates. But the truth is, when you start getting outside of the will of God, when you start, when you start intentionally uh, um, rebelling against God and then wanting other people to rebel against God because of your evil and pernicious ways, um, and you try to teach that to the children, you're going to give an account, and it's going to be a sore account. It's going to be the kind of account that I know beyond a shadow of a doubt that no human on the face of this earth is prepared for hell. You're not prepared for it. Whether you think that you all that in a bag of chips, your education, your money, your strength, 
the people following you, the color of your skin, nothing is going to prepare you for the outer darkness, the weeping, wailing, moaning, and gnashing of teeth that you are going to receive, that you are going to, that's going to be your destination, your eternity, when you openly rebel against God. So let's read this article. This is uh, dated May the 24th, 2021. Uh, Beth Bowman is the, uh, is the uh, writer of the article. On Monday, Georgia Republican gubernatorial candidate Vernon Jones, a Republican slammed critical race theory as racism that shouldn't be taught in America's schools. I'm against, I'm against it. You know, uh, Maria, if you ask 10 different people what is critical race theory, you get 10 different answers. Jones explained to Fox, Fox's businesses, Maria uh, Bartiroma, uh, quote, so we do not. So we do know one thing that everybody knows is race is, is, is everybody knows is race based. And if you teach it in schools, it's racism. Bartiroma pointed out that kids are being labeled as racist before they have a chance to speak their minds. Uh, tell uh, quote tell me about the impact to this on our population unquote uh, quote see Maria uh, that's what I was saying earlier you ask ten different people you get ten different de definitions it's been taught different ways in different schools and it's being abused unquote the gubernatorial candidate explained quote and the problem is you are taking your people you you are taking young people rather who are next to another young person and pitting one against the other. And, say, and you say to even white children, um, look, you're responsible for what happened hundreds and hundreds of years ago, and they don't have a clue. And that's what's the devilish part about this, y'all. They're putting guilt on the hearts of these, um, these young uh, people that don't have a clue about what has gone on. They're 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 making them feel guilty. They're making them feel like like they've done something that they shouldn't be feel, made to, uh, to feel guilty about. They're making them have this sense of what did I do? Oh, that's right. I got to get it right. Yeah. So I need to go back, and you can't. You can't go back a hundred, two hundred, three hundred, four hundred years today and fix what happened then. You can't do it. What you do is you fix now. You fix now. You stop. You stop teaching this crap, this hatred. You know, I, there's a gentleman that 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 was on uh, came on the YouTube uh, uh, in the comments about one of the spots that I did that dealt with the ex um, uh, that dealt with um, the the two gentlemen that were going off. Uh, let me see the um, uh, ex. I can't remember his name. I'm sorry, but anyway, he was he was um, speaking to me about that. And saying that, you know, um, Kendi, Kendi, that's a uh, Kendi, Ibram Kendi, ex Ibram Ibram Kendi, Kendi, that's the guy's name. We were talking about him, and he was saying, you know, he was trying to make it seem like the guy was doing good, but you know, but based on the article and based on the other information, when you read about this gentleman, he's very. It's one thing to be pro-black, y'all, for 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 a good purpose, but he's not just pro-black for a good purpose. This man, he is in the midst of this critical race theory and wants you to feel like black, white people are to blame for all your woes. That's what he does. And whether this gentleman that came on that on the comments and trying, you can deny that all he wants, but the truth is he is a part of this, this whole new um, theory, a critical race theory where, where blacks are, we're, we're woe to us. We're, we're downtrodden. The knee is still on our neck from 400 years ago. You know, when you have people like uh, uh, the Reverend, Al Sharpton saying the very same thing when he um, was um, spoke at George Floyd's funeral. And that was unfortunate that he would do that because as a reverend, his responsibility is to let people know, yeah, this is unfortunate that this happened, but the, how do we deal with this? We don't deal with this by being racist the way they're racist. We deal with this by having the love of God in our hearts. He is no reverend. And he surely doesn't speak for Jesus Christ, not the way that he is. And so this critical race theory, y'all, it's very, once again, you've heard me say it in my last few videos, uh, uh, videos, doctrines of devils. That's exactly what this is. And who do you teach it to? You teach it to the kids that don't have the time. They haven't been around long enough to really understand and experience. They don't even know what happened a hundred years ago, let alone 400 years ago. But you bring this spirit of hatred, unforgiveness, honoriness, 
you know, vindictiveness and you bring this to the children and you teach this to them and what do they do? Like sponges, they soak it up. They soak it up and then it becomes a part of their every day. They begin to look at each other, the black kids looking at the white kids, the black kids looking at the Hispanic kids, the Hispanic kids looking at the whites and the blacks. And everybody, nobody trusts anybody no more. Nobody wants to get along anymore. And this critical race theory is a part of the problem, y'all. This stuff is devilish, it's demonic. And I don't care what you say. Any of you that want to comment to me about what I'm saying about this critical race theory, go ahead and shoot it on. Because I thank God, the word of God gives me the authority to dismantle your hatred. It gives me the authority, the power of the living God through the blood of the cross, gives me the authority led by the Holy Spirit to dismantle your hatred and your racism. Okay, so let's move forward. So it, so it being race-based and you are teaching it in a way that you're teaching racism, it does not make any sense. I'm totally against it. Georgia shouldn't have it. I call on, uh, I call on our governor to stop it. Uh, unquote, Jones exp uh, explained, quote, um, I was with the local uh, school board just recently the other night. I had my representative here saying, look, ban it in those local schools. There is no place for critical race theory. We can't talk about history. We can't talk about things we know about, uh, teach, uh, teach about things we, we, we don't know about, where, uh, where it's becoming abusive. And it's racism and race-based. What, what, what else can you say? It just should not be taught. I'm telling you something. It goes on to say here, um, um, at the end of April, I, uh, Idaho became the first state to ban critical race theory. Oklahoma and Tennessee quickly followed suit uh, per a report from the Daily Mail. According to Sinclair uh, Broadcast Group, other states, including Arizona, Texas, Georgia, Ar uh, Arkansas, South Dakota, and Arizona, have moved forward with similar legislation that would bar the controversial curriculum from being taught in schools. You know what gets me? is that this is just common sense, y'all. Anybody that really wants peace should know that putting this stuff in the school does not bring peace. It brings division, segregation. I did a video on, on resegregation. That's exactly what this critical race theory is going to do. It's going to resegregate the United States of America at a time when we were doing so well. And when the left, when the liberals came in with this hatred, I, listen to me, this is, I can hate sin and I hate sin. I hate the fact that these people in their flesh think that they have the power and the authority to do what they're doing. Their power and authority comes from the devil. But guess what? The devil is trumped. 100% by the power and the authority of the living God who created him, who has the power and already has developed a place for him, created a place for him, hell, where he is going to be for an eternity in gnashing of his teeth. He was an angel. He, 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 he rebelled against God and he got cast out of heaven along with those other demonic forces, other angels. And now listen to me. So they want to bring this stuff into the school. They want to bring this foolishness into the school, y'all. There's nothing that you can say that's going to make this critical race theory right or any good for your children. Listen to me, people, parents. You got children going to these schools in these urban areas, in these rural areas, you know, suburbs. They're going to these schools and this curriculum is going to these schools. And one day you're going to wake up because you didn't do anything because if those of you that are saved and you're supposed to be saved, you're supposed to be Christians, you didn't do anything. You didn't pray against it. You didn't ask the Lord to give you wisdom because the word of God says that if any man lack wisdom, let him ask of God who gives liberally and upbraideth not. You can find that in James, the first chapter, verse number five. Listen to me. You can, there's no reason. There's no reason at all where, where you should be dull, blind, deaf, and dumb to when it comes down to this critical race theory. Y'all, this is a doctrine of a devil. This is wickedness. Please, whatever you do, if you want, listen to me, if we, if you love, if we love our nation, if you love the United States of America, then this is what you need to do. You need to, as I said in the last video, this thing needs to be, look, defunded. You turn your back to it. You walk away from it. You disregard it. If your children are being taught and you have go to, you go to school meetings, you tell them, I don't want critical race theory talk to my child because it's wrong. It's demonic. 
And you use the term, because it is, it's demonic. These people that are doing this, these so-called, this is what gets me, these so-called professors, these learned men, the word of God says that he take the foolish things of the world to confound the wise. So I don't care how great these men profess to be. I don't care how many Nobel Peace Prizes they've had. I don't care how many people pat them on their backs. I don't care how many people tell them that, oh, oh, hooray, hooray, hurrah for that thing that you said. These people are devils and they're going to pay. I, listen to me, y'all. I guarantee you, whether you believe it or not, whether you believe in God, whether you believe in Jesus Christ, whether you believe in the Holy Spirit or not, these people are going to pay for their treachery because this is treachery. This is treason. This is hatred in a level that most of these people that are either, that are talking about this, stuff, they can't even understand what they're doing. They don't even realize the demonic force that's behind what they're doing, y'all. If they were to see it, if they were to wake up and see a visual of what's going on behind them, in the in this is three Ephesians six and twelve. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. When that was given, when Paul the apostle spoke to the church at Ephesus, he was letting them know what they're dealing with, and those spirits haven't gone anywhere. They're the same spirits that are that are here today. And these people that are trying to teach this stuff that will allow us to go, these people are led by these demonic forces that you can't see, but they're there. Just the way you don't see angels, but they're there. Listen to me, y'all. This stuff is going to destroy our nation. But even worse than that, it's going to destroy your child. It's going to destroy your neighborhoods. It's going to destroy this, the states that we live in. This beautiful country, the United States of America, is going to destroy it. It's going to be so much darkness and so much blackness over this country. If this stuff is not, if this stuff is not stopped, that you will not even believe it. And I'm going to tell you this. Mock my words. I know what I'm talking about. Mock my words. Let me finish off this article. Critical race theory is based on the 1619 Project which New York Times writer, I guess it's either Nike or Nikki Hannah Jones, played a, played a vital role in the writing. The central theme behind the project's conclusion is 1619 is the year slaves were brought from, from Africa to the United States, which they, claim is, which, they, which they claim is when America was actually founded. The project also surmises that the American Revolution was fought to preserve slavery. Both of those in, uh, arguments are factually Incorrect. America's foundation was solidified in 1776. The American Revolution was fought so that the United States could gain independence from Great Britain. Major historians, among them, among them Pulitzer Prize winners, have, have blasted the 1619 Project for its inaccuracy as reported here. So, this is the thing. These people, they are denying the truth of God, but they want to teach these these abominable lies. They want to change history. Listen to me. Understand, you can't change history. History has been set. You can't change history just by going in a book. My goodness, these people are lunatic. You can't change history by going in a book, by writing a paper, something that, that comes, and, and listen to me, what you're writing and what you're trying to get people to believe is coming out of your spirit, your wicked, evil spirit. So when you're writing something, in that writing that you're doing, that they are doing, is hatred, it's resentment, it's unforgiveness, it's the inability for them to look and say, you just happened in the past, but we as a nation have to, got to get past it. We need to work on how to get past it. Instead of that, they're wanting, they're wanting white people to pay for it, for what happened. Black people have become so racist. These people have become racist. And if I don't care, the guy that commented to me, um, and you know who you are if you're watching my videos, it's a shame that you have become a racist. And you don't even realize that you have become a racist by, by getting involved in this critical race theory, by saying that these people and the things that they're saying is right, it's correct, it's incorrect, it's ungodly, and you can't change that. Like I was saying, you cannot change history. History is set. Tell me, if you could go back today and change exactly what you did yesterday, prove it to me. If you can go back today 
and change exactly what you did yes I'm talking about exactly what you did yesterday to the to the hour to the minute to the second if you can change how you put your shoes on and how you tied them yesterday if you can change how you put your pants or your skirt or your blouse or your wig or whatever you put on yesterday if you can change how you did it exactly how you did it today how you did yesterday then you do it prove it to me I bet you can't I bet you can't. I bet you can't change exactly what you did yesterday because yesterday is set in history. This is the thing. People don't want you to under, want you to understand that the things that happened in the past, whether they were bad or whether they were good, they are set in history. You cannot change them. You cannot change them. The only thing that we can change is how we deal with each other today. That's how we change for tomorrow. That's how we make tomorrow better is by changing what we do today, how we love each other today, how we respect each other today, how we forgive each other today. Those are the things, y'all, that the Holy Scripture speaks of. But those are the people that so many of these haters, these demons, these dogs, these, 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 uh, these people, as, 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 as Jesus, as God called them in the Old Testament, greedy dogs, because they're all about the money. They're all about themselves. They're all about staying relevant. They only want what they can get. They don't want to give goodness. They only want to get stuff for themselves. They are greedy dogs. And let me tell you something. They're going to pay. I'm almost done here, y'all. They're going to pay. They're going to pay for their untowardness. They're going to pay for their, for, their, for their meanness, for their, oh my goodness, for their hatred. They're going to pay for the fact that they will teach this stuff to our babies. It would be better for them to have a millstone tied about their neck and to be cast in the deepest part of the ocean than to hurt one of these little ones. And the stuff that they're trying to teach the children in this critical race theory is envy. Listen to me. What, y'all, what, get your friends to watch my videos. Get your enemies to watch my videos. Play them where they can be seen. Help me get subscribers. Because listen to me. I would not tell you this stuff, y'all, if I didn't believe it myself. I believe that God is God. I believe that Jesus Christ is, is the Savior of of the universe. I believe that of the Savior of mankind. I believe that the Holy Spirit abides in us because Jesus Christ told the disciples it was expedient for him to go away. He had to go away. He had to be crucified. He had to be beat to death and, and, and spat on and the hair pulled out of his face. He had to do all of those things for me and for you. And he did it, went home and sat on the right hand of the throne of God make an intercession for us. And he told us that he said it was expedient to go because if he didn't go, the comforter would not come. The Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit that abides in the Christians, the true Christians, the ones whose heart is for the Lord. The Holy Spirit abides in us. He abides in us, y'all. And what he does is he he strengthens us. He he shows us the error of our own way. He, he convicts us of, of our own sin and then gives us wisdom to, uh, of how to live righteous, right by God. But the only way that you could do that is if you are saved. Because if you're not saved, the Holy Spirit does not abide in you. So all of these men and women that are doing all this devilish, these are unsaved people. The Spirit of the living God does not abide in them. They're being led by the prince and the power of the air who is Satan. They flesh and blood. We don't wrestle against flesh and blood. The very same people that are doing this thing, if their heart were changed towards God, what they would do is they would they would turn a 180 out from what they're doing. Jeremiah 17, 9 and 10, for the heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Who can know it? I, the Lord, know the heart. And I try the reins of the heart to repay every man according to his ways and according to the fruit of his doing. These people are going to pay y'all for the hell that they are doing with this critical race theory. So I agree with this representative. That's right. Don't teach it. It cannot be taught in the schools. And they'll call him an Uncle Tom. They'll call him an Oriole. They'll call me an Uncle Tom. I've been called a, a, a Uncle Tom, you know, um, by one of my, by one of the viewers. But that's all right. If he thinks that that's going to cause me to stop doing what I'm doing, he's been duped and tricked by the devil because my, my authority comes from God. If you're not saved, receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior today because your tomorrow is not promised to you. This is the thing. The Word of God says that if you can profess with your mouth and believe in your heart that Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins and rose on the third day with all power, the word of God says you shall be saved because you make the profession with your mouth and you believe with your heart unto righteousness. If you have sin, before you, even before you ask to be saved, if you have sin, ask the Lord to forgive you of your sins because you have sin. If you're not saved, you're a sinner. Saved people sin. 
But the word of God says, if we confess our sin, that he's faithful and just to forgive us of our sins and cleanse us of all unrighteousness. He will know the sincerity of your heart. Listen to me, y'all. This is a terrible thing that's taking place. This critical race theory and how these people are using it to teach it to our children. You should not want your child to be subject to this hell. Vernon Jones, I pray that the Lord will give you strength to continue doing what you're supposed to do, what you're doing. That he'll give you the strength to stand. And when you've done all that you can do to stand on the righteousness of God, then you stay there. Vernon Jones blasts critical race theory. It's racism that doesn't make, does not make any sense. It makes no sense. With that said, God bless you. Until we come back together again, y'all, in the next uh, video, farewell.